sponsored by 666bet.com. This is Cougan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're in Dublin here. The day of the Wayne ahead of tomorrow night's show live on Sky Sports. Return of the Mac with me fighting on that bill. Khalid Yafai. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good, you? Yeah, all good. Just chilling out here in uh, Cal's. Well, it's not really your room, it's the Yafai room, isn't it? It's the Yafai room, yeah. Come out. Jamal. <laughs> your fire catching some Z's. He loves, he loves his bad man. That's all right. That's all right. Um, all weighed in uh, ahead of tomorrow's fight with Everett Bissignor. Whatever it is. Probably haven't pronounced that correctly, but um, it's all right. If he watches IFL, he might correct us tomorrow. Um, Decent fight for you. Uh, been in the likes of uh, Leo Santa Cruz. I think he went 11 rounds with Santa Cruz, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, what do you know about him? I know. I've seen quite a bit of him, to be fair. Um, he went 11 with Santa Cruz. Um, he took Omar Nebaez, who's WBO champion. Uh, lost on points to him. And he lost on points quite a long time ago to uh, Fernando Montiel. Mm. Another attempt for the world title. So he's been around his experience. And... Um, yeah, it should be a good test. I think he's been right. in with Darwin Zamora as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat yeah. him as well, yeah. He's beat him, yeah. Yeah, so... Should be providing an interesting test for you. Defending yeah. your IBF in the continental title, but... Yeah, that's not on the line. Did that's he fail the weight? No, failed the weight today, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was a pound and three ounces over. Come back. I, 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 don't, I don't know what, what happened afterwards. I, I was told that he come back and he was still the same. Um... By then, I, I decided to get to go into Dublin Town Centre and enjoy Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't blame me, don't blame me. Yeah, actually, as I was saying that to you about you defending the belt, I remembered that obviously he had a two hours to get the weight off and, and couldn't do so. So it is what yeah. it is, the fight's still on. But Yeah, that's it. Um, fight's still on, so that's all That's all I care about. Don't care what, you know, titles on the line or not. In my mind, I was, I'm, I'm going to win tomorrow night, no matter what, what whatever is on the line. So. I've just got to do. I've still got to um, have my IBF weigh-in tomorrow morning. And that's it. Ten pound check weight limit. Ten pound limit. It's in a problem. So I think he's going to come and weigh as well. But I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on there. But he can put on as much as he wants or whatever. Just be even more sluggish. Last time out, he was at Wembley. Yeah. Um. Harold Molina, was it? Yeah, that was it. You remember that one? Yeah, I do. I remember everything about you. <laughs> Most things. Most things. <laughs> that sounds uh, too good, that. <laughs> <is it> way- <laughs> what? Did it sound too good, that? What? You remember most things about me. I do. I do remember most things about you. I've been there since you turned pro, yeah, remember? Yeah, beginning, remember, yeah. Yeah. I was in there since this little cherub turned pro as well. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Are you texting? I'm texting, mate. Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> the Snapchat king himself. Snapchat king. I don't even go on Snapchat anymore. It's so fucking boring. Like, if you have, if you got him on Snapchat, it ain't boring. Trust me. There was one Snapchat that I received from one of you two, which was <laughs> which was banging. <laughs> it was great. No, it was just you driving in a car, playing some of my favourite tunes. That's all that was. <laughs> but apart from that, I just find the whole Snapchat. Do you know it's a really boring Snapchat? And it just you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I look at his Snapchat. He sends me like 150 second Snapchat. Yeah, Josh. Of him. Not even him. Just his hoodie in the car. Just listening to music. So he's just seeing his hoodie and that's it. But I don't get that. <laughs> no, I, do, I, do, I don't even look at Joshua's Snapchats, but... I was talking about Callum Johnson. Do you follow Callum oh, Johnson? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just the randomness. It's a bit, bit arse calling him boring, but I've got one of them with his beard. He's doing wild to grow that beard though, Callum Johnson. Oh big Fair up Callum Johnson, you, but work on the Snapchats, Callum. <laughs> Definitely work on them. Um so IBF Intercontinental Champion, Commonwealth Superflower Champion. Yeah. Um it's again, I keep saying this to everyone, but next year is gonna be some sort of uh, breakthrough year for you. Yeah, of course. Um, I got back on track after my injury last year. Um, picked up that Commonwealth title in um, in May, and then and then the IBF in uh, September. It was about what seven eight weeks ago. 
um, and then back out again tomorrow night. So I'm looking to end the year in, in, in style and put out a good performance out there. I think if I can make a statement tomorrow, it'll, it'll get my name up there and um, next year try and get some big fights. I am the British. Oh yeah. British. Um, I just try and grab whatever I can really, whatever yeah. Eddie sorts out for me. Yeah. Um, no. I'm enjoying collecting these belts, so um, why not keep collecting them next year? And hopefully you can end up with um with a world title opportunity some some sometime down the line. I know um obviously everyone's aspiration is to win the British title, but with these rankings within these sort of subdivision belts, it puts you in good stead to be placed at the right time to maybe get your shot. So yeah, it could be a, you know a bit like Callum Smith. Callum Smith might not fight for the British title. He might you know he's sort of on the WBC route now and could end up getting a shot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Whatever whatever happens happens. Um, I think it's, it's I think it's a bit hard up my way as well with the British because there's not many British fighters out there um, to fight for it or even d if I to be honest if I win the British if I box for the British title I'd want to defend it three times so I can keep it but I don't think there's three fighters out there. Mm. No disrespect to a lot of the other super flyweights but there's not there's not a lot of super flyweights up there that are good enough really. So. Um, I think it might just be the international route and just try and win that world title. But I want, I want to make sure that when I do get my shot, that you know I can stay up there and keep defending and stay up there for a long time. Obviously, the name that always springs to mind is Mr. Butler. Yeah. Um, who's had his little uh, go rather at bantamweight, come back down to uh, Superfly. So uh, he was meant to be fighting for the world title, wasn't he? And, um, on the October 25th ball in Liverpool, that fight didn't happen. But again, next year, be interesting yeah. to see if you two paths meet at some point. Yeah, hope so. Um, you know, I'm I'm here and I'm ready to fight anybody at any time. And if we get the opportunity to fight Paul Butler, then fair enough. I'll be I'll be more than happy to take that. Be more than happy. So um, and I'm sure Eddie. That's exactly what Eddie's working on. And I'm sure he is um, trying to make that fight happen. So. I'll be I'll be more than happy to to get in the ring with Paul Butler. Yeah. It's a great fight potentially, so we shall see. Domestic big domestic fights. That's what we all want to see. That's what everybody wants to see. You know, there's so many out there, especially in the, like middleweights, lightweights, super middleweights. I think they're all just coming together now. Yeah. Um, you know, even super bantamweight. You know, there's so heavy. There's near enough all the weights. There's, mm. there's some big domestic fights to be made, and um, I think it's time for. Um, for some big domestic fights at the lower weights, like the super flies, and I think they, they can be made. Wait to unleash my little brother, you know, on the scene. He's a minimum weight at the moment. Is Trying he? to build What's him up. Uh, Coogan as well. <laughs> what? Is he Sri Lankan? Coogan uh, too. Yeah, of course he's Sri Lankan. Obviously is he Sri Lankan, Lankan champion? Uh, yeah. Is he IBF Asian champion or something? No, he's uh, into Asia champion. Okay, maybe we can make something happen there. Yeah, I mean, he's bulking up. He's at minimum weight at the moment, but uh, we're going to uh, feed him Cobra beer. Okay. And uh, see what happens. Could could you give you two a run for your money? It's all right. I'm, I'm, hoping, um, I'm hoping for an all-Yemeni um, clash with um, Ali Raimi. Yeah? You've heard of him, yeah? 20, I think he's had 21 fights, 21 wins, 21 knockouts. Yeah. So, um, you never know. Eddie come out making all, all Yemeni clash. Yeah, I'm sure there's a market for that somewhere. Bloody, I'm sure there is in Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we should wait, we should wait and see. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, Cal, listen, thanks for talking to IFL TV. And uh hasn't been uncomfortable at all. Are you clothed? Big boy. Yeah, mate. yeah. Don't worry, I won't get the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a little, like, little, like... I'll get, I'll, I'll get the snake out just yet. Easy, son. <laughs> mm. uh, Alright, well, listen, before he does do something <laughs> very inappropriate, we'll leave it there. Coogan Cassius uh, for Eiffel TV with Cal Yafai and Gamal Yafai. Thank Thanks. you very much. The Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com.